three quarters of the way and what you do is you want to start twisting so do about 40 twists 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And that's what you get. So you get this big twist. And what you do now is I've got this little thing going with some J-hooks, I think is what they are, with screws onto the table. You can use, I don't know, your toe or your foot or a mate can hold it for you or something like that. But yeah, I mean, if you're doing it by yourself, you want something like this. So just loop it up there. Yeah. Change your hands. Hold it there. And what you want to do is pull it down until it's nice and tight. Like that. And what you do is just twist it, hold it like that, get your index finger, move it down while keeping this at 90 degrees. So as you pull it down, let let the line go on, on this one, on the tag end. And you see it's twisting the pine saw. As you push this one down and let it go, and you see it coming down and there. So you have the twist. What you do then is just to set down these knots so you get one, loop, pull it down. Then you get to the other side, same thing, pull it down. And then you do it again. And I like to do it about, I don't know, five, six times maybe. That's two on each side now. That's two. Six on this side, six on the other side, and that should be enough. And what you want to finish it off with is go over both of them. So you have one, you do it like three times, two or four, maybe. three, four, and then you pull it down. Nice and smooth. There you go, pull it down. There you go. There's your bimini twist with a double at the end. Okay, nice and neat. Uh, the advantage this gives you is it gives you a double on this end to tie your your leader onto. Uh, so it gives you that extra strength, I suppose. Um, what you do is clean this up by finishing off the tag end. Just cut it off right there. And there you go, you get your twist. Nice and neat. Now what you want to do is tie the leader in to this double. And what we use is what they call the reverse all break. Okay. So what we do now, we've got about, uh, about three meters of uh, what we use shock leader. Um, so the difference between a shop leader and your normal leader is that shop leader is it's a little bit more flexible um, and it gives the line, because braid doesn't stretch, um, this gives it a little bit of stretch so I guess the fish doesn't bust you off by I don't know, breaking your line maybe, so okay, so about three meters. So what we do now, we do the reverse orb, right? So you grab this in, right, and you put them side by side and you leave it out, I don't know, about 30 centimetres of the uh, shock leader. And then what you do, you start twisting it around. One, 
two, no, uh, eight or ten times, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what you do now is you put the tag in through the loop. See the loop there? So you go straight through that loop. And put that. And then now you pull down. Can you see that? Pull it down nice and tight. Nice and tight. Holding both. So then just hold one, hold both, and pull them down. Now what you're going to do is give it some lube saliva. Yep. Yeah, it's nice and tight. But be careful here because you can cut your line on the braid. The well, wool, sorry, the braid and cut your hand. So just be careful. What I like to do is use the gloves. So. These are my basically my weight gloves. When I do my weights, just this good to them through. And there's my line off. Good to know. There it is. Okay. And there it is. You see how it's nice and tight now? Keep it some lube. Now just wrap it around the glove. Wrap it around so it's tight. Now just hold the main line. One, two. Now what you'll see. And pull them up and watch this. You see how it bunches up together? Nice. You see that reverse orb right just dig into the braid? And that's a very strong knot. And that. See how that nice that looks? Okay. So there you go. Take it out. Now. Gloves off. Gloves off. There you go. Now what you want to do now is to finish it off, just for an extra precaution, just do it one, two, and tie it up. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. And there you go. So you got your bimini twist to your reverse or break. Pretty much the strongest knots you can do pretty much. This has never failed me. This knot. Never. Okay. Now just cut the tagging off a little bit. What we like to do now for a little bit of insurance not really required but I guess you can if you want. Um, just like to singe up this tagging a little bit. Just singe it off. Nice and close. Just tap it a little bit. There you go. And that should prevent it from slipping through. But it's never happened. But yeah, we'd just like to do it for a little bit of insurance. Okay, so there you go. Now, to the terminal. So you've got three meters of shop leader. Okay. Now we go to. The swivel. Okay, this is 80 pounds um, ball swivel, top fast swivel. This has never failed us ever either. Um, yeah. Okay. So, what we like to do is just use a uni knot straight to this. Oops. So, uni knot, put it through. Okay. Down there, loop it up. And then go through about four, loop it, come back, loop it through, and do it four. One, two, three, and four. And then punch it up. And I'll give it some lube. 
pull the main in, pull the inner one. Pull it tight. And that is one strong knot. Pull the top tail in. Okay. What I like to do is also test it out by just pulling it through this. Just pull the shit out of it. That is strong. Now what we like to do, now it's for the other end, so the other end we like to use fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon. Um, uh, basically about a metre. Um, about a metre. This is a hundred pound fluorocarbon, hundred percent fluorocarbon, and this doesn't stretch. And the fluorocarbon basically is almost invisible in water, so that's what you want to use. Um, hundred pound. So same thing, mini knot. Take it through. Take it back. And then take it back. One. Two, three, four, pull it tight, touch it up, again, it's loose, mm -hmm. and pull it tight, wow, that is strong, okay, and there you go, you need not one end and you need not the other end. Mustard hook, hook, J hook. So, uh, and that's also J hook. But you notice how this has got the little bent in. Uh, that's keeper hook. Uh, so we want to use a two hook rig when we're down rigging squeak basically. Um, so let me show you how to do that. Okay. So put, put the keeper hook down first. Okay, so I'm going to and put that in to the main hook. And basically, uh, this is also an 8 0 I think. Oh, well, actually, it could be a 6 -0. Mm -hmm. So, we do a uni knock down this end as well. And we'll put this down. Mm -hmm. okay. What you find with fluorocarbon is very stiff, so you might find it a little bit tough to tie nuts, but just. One, two, three, and four. And then pull it tight, loop, and pull it down. And get nice and tight. Cut the tag off. Careful not to get the main line when you're doing this. Okay. So just test it out. 
Is about, I don't know, probably eight pounds of mono. So it's cut off about, I don't know, 30, 40 centimeters. So there we go. Now, have the hooks facing the other way, like that. Okay. Now, what you do is hold them in right there. You get the little piece of line and put it parallel, okay? Now come back and make a loop, okay? And while you're holding it, loop it over the hook and or main both lines. So you have eight loops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Ten loops. And what you do now is you put it through the loop. Once, that four or five times. Two, and three, and four. Oops. Oh, come on. Four. Okay. line here, hold that, and pull this line, and it'll come right through, come through tight, line, and pull that line, and that's what you get. Okay, see that? There you go. Oh, oh yeah, it's broken. Not good. Yeah. Now what this line can do, when this bunch is down here, you can move the main line up and down as you see. So you get a big squid, move it up, a little squid, move it down. So you have to lock it in place so to keep, to make the keeper hook stay on the line a little bit tighter so you'll, if it's not, and you're down rigging, Basically, what happens to the squid is it bends, and that's not good. Uh, so, move this up, right up to the top, right there at the neck, and what you'll find that it's harder to move up and down. Like that, like that. So it doesn't move, but it's tight. So it'll stay where it is, and I'll keep the squid straight. Watch it down here. Okay. And there you go. Um, obviously, if you're going to down with yakas or slimies, you don't need this hook. Um, just need the main hook. And you pin it straight through the nose. So, here, the squid, the top of the hood, keeper hook. And then the main hook through basically a bit of the head, not straight through, just straight into the head and come out. Just so it sits like this. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, a rig for the unrigging, catching things. Um, okay, thanks for watching, and good luck.